Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Ivacy VPN. Now, Ivacy VPN is the fastest VPN award winner. You can simultaneously log in between 2 and 10 devices, and Ivacy VPN offers you maximum compatibility. You can use it on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and all popular browsers. And all plans unlock BBC iPlayer, Disney+, Plus. Hulu, and seven major Netflix regions. Ivacy VPN also offers the lowest prices on the market, and with their five-year plan and promo code FOMO, you can get an additional 15% off, so check out Ivacy VPN. Links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, so iOS 15.4 has been out for a little over a week and one of the most popular complaints that I continue to hear is poor battery performance with iOS 15.4. Now there's a few devices that seem to be affected more than others. I did run a YouTube community poll. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts as to why some devices are seeing an impact on battery performance and a few things you can do in order to improve the battery on iOS 15.4. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, with iOS 15.4, Apple has enabled one feature for iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max that was not here before. And if we go into settings here, and if we head on over to accessibilities and we go into motion, we have the limit frame rate. This will limit your iPhone's display from refreshing up to 60 hertz per second. Now, the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max are capable of going all the way up to 120 hertz. That is the Pro Motion display. And with iOS 15.4, Apple has unleashed the entire power of this feature and third party applications, Apple apps, and the OS itself now is capable of going all the way up to 100 and 20 hertz refresh rates which means that your iphone's battery could take an impact if you have an iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max i recommend you head on over into settings accessibilities motion and then just limit that to 60 frames now this of course will limit the display from refreshing all the way up to the pro motion 120 hertz keep in mind 120 hertz allows for smoother scrolling launching apps it just seems a lot smoother when you're using a higher refresh rate but at the same time it does impact the battery negatively in my opinion and for those of you that don't care as much for the pro motion or the higher refresh rate this will be an option that will definitely definitely improve the battery especially again iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max now what if you're experiencing issues on older devices well here's my youtube community poll and it seems like about 4,000 votes here we have a 32 percent of you guys that continue to have issues with the battery performance of your iphone now you can go ahead and vote express your thoughts read a lot of these comments from what i'm gathering here it looks like the iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max are the devices that continue to have the most issues with battery performance. So if you limit the frame rate, this would actually help. But if you have an older device, as I mentioned, you can also do something here. Once you update, you can press on the volume up key, the volume down key, and then on the side button here, so up, down, side button, you'll see the slide to power off menu, and then you wanna hold the home touch ID button here, and you'll see this flash on your screen, which means it will quit everything that's running in the background just like so. It will end any task or anything that was happening in the background that could impact the battery in a negative way and then all you have to do is go ahead and reboot your device and this hopefully should help you with any issues on your iPhone but if you have another touch ID device which isn't or a face ID device rather that is an iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max but you continue to have battery issues you want to do the same thing we just did on the touch ID device however it's a little different for face ID devices you want to head on over into settings accessibilities you want to go into touch and then assistive touch here and then enable this feature this will give us a virtual home button as you can see right there and then we do the same process key up down and then side button bring up the assistive touch here press and hold on the home key the virtual home key and this quits everything from running in the background any task anything that might be impacting the battery in a negative way this will quit everything from running in the background then you want to go ahead and power off your device and then power back up and this should help with the battery if you're running iOS 15.4 on any device that's Face ID that's having battery issues other than the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. To me, it seems like the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max are definitely being impacted by the frame rate of the display since Apple did unleash the entire power of ProMotion. And again, it takes time for developers to update their applications and properly take advantage of this feature. Again, Apple apps are also taking advantage of this and the entire 
iOS are also taking advantage of ProMotion, which was something that was not here before iOS 15.4. Now, let me know if these tips work for you in the long run. I would like to hear from you in those comments down below a few days after trying this. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.